The Chinese app DeepSeek has unseated ChatGPT to become the most downloaded AI-driven chatbot in Apple's US App Store. Those behind the app say it uses less data and cheaper chips compared to US rivals. It's raised questions about American dominance in AI, as well as the effectiveness of export controls imposed by the Biden administration. Some say the restrictions accelerated China's progress. Thanks to the sanction of the chips, lots of Chinese AI startups focused on developing AI applications in a more efficient way, using much fewer GPU chips than the U.S. counterparts. DeepSeek was created by a small startup based in the eastern Chinese city of Hangzhou in 2023. Dozens of Chinese AI models have emerged since, but DeepSeek is the first to compete with those created in the U.S. U.S. President Donald Trump says he hopes the Chinese app will spur American companies to do more with less money. The release of DeepSeek AI from a Chinese company should be a wake-up call for our industries that we need to be laser-focused on DeepSeek's popularity has upended the view that the U.S. has an unsurpassable lead when it comes to advanced technologies. Both the Chinese and U.S. governments have announced plans to invest billions into AI infrastructure. Some analysts say the race to dominate the sector has now become a war. Researchers, however, say the U.S. and China need to collaborate on the direction the industry is taking. It's necessary for uh, two big powers of AI. Uh, to work together, right? This, uh, the, the safety, the governance, uh, some of the policies uh, go beyond just uh, the national boundary. The technology gap between the two countries may be narrowing, but DeepSeek founder Liang Wenfang says the U.S. embargo on high-end chips remains a challenge. China's strict censorship laws are another. For DeepSeek users, discussion about China's leaders or sensitive issues, including Hong Kong or Taiwan, are currently off limits. Katrina Yu, Al Jazeera, Beijing. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.